Hello, my name is Dr. Sharon Wong. I'm a consultant dermatologist and I also specialise in treating hair loss. So I'm partnering with Tangle Teaser as part of their Bad Hair Habits campaign to address some of the commonest bad hair habits that we come across and that we're all guilty of doing at some point in our lives. But more importantly, we'll be sharing with you some tips that you can try at home to improve your scalp and hair health. So for me, the number one bad hair habit I come across is not washing your products out. If you are using a lot of styling products such as waxes, mousses, sprays and gels, you need to wash them out at the end of the day. Products which are just left to sit on the scalp will cause more product buildup, scaling and dandruff and scalp irritation. It's a bit like going to bed with a full face of makeup and it's definitely not something we would recommend. If you do use products regularly, you may find it beneficial to use a clarifying shampoo once a week for that really deep cleanse. My number two bad hair habit is poor detangling or combing technique and this is particularly the case for people who have wavy or curly hair which has a greater tendency to knot and we've all been conditioned, excuse the pun, but we've all been conditioned to comb our hair from uh, roots to tips but dragging a comb through the knots down the entire length of your hair is a sure way of causing hair breakage. The correct technique actually involves you combing in sections and you always start from the tip. So you would uh, comb through a small section, um, starting at the tips and work your way up gradually towards the roots. And you should be using a specific detangling brush like the Tangle Teaser, which has the correct technology. So the Tangle Teaser is really very clever. It's got a patented two tier teeth system so you've got um, longer teeth which are very soft and pliable so they do detangle but with minimal trauma um, and you've also got the shorter teeth which smoothen over the cuticles as you're combing which is really important to maintain the integrity of the hair and also to keep it shiny. My final bad hair habit, which I have to put my hand up to because I'm totally guilty of this, is tying my hair up too tightly too frequently because it's convenient and it's quick. But what you'll get is a gradual thinning of your hair, especially around the hair lines, around the temples and the frontal area. Um, and that will happen progressively the more that you do it. And the best thing to do is just to seize every opportunity you can to wear your hair down and loose. There's absolutely no tension in the hair whatsoever. But if you do need to have your hair out of your face, then get creative with it. Uh, think about alternatives to a tight ponytail or a bun. So maybe think about Alice bands or hair clips um, and just have fun with it, knowing that it's much better for your hair. So thank you for watching this short video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, any questions, please pop them in the comments box below or you can find me on Instagram at Dr. Sharon Wong. Thank you very much.